What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we are back with brand new WWE action figure news for you guys. And this is pretty exciting news because you guys know that we are coming up on the end of the year. We've celebrated a really amazing year of WWE and wrestling action figures in general. And it seems that we have some great things on the pipeline that I think a lot of people are going to be excited about. And I was actually quite shocked by this news when I first saw it. I, I really couldn't believe it. And we'll get into all that and we'll break down all the different details of it, man. But we do have the upcoming WWE Ultimate Edition series pretty much confirmed for us and we'll get into that and I'll talk about all of that stuff of course as well on the channel here but in the discussion of today's video man we're going to be discussing the next WWE Ultimate Edition line that is coming following WWE Ultimate Edition series number 20. Now if you guys are unaware about Ultimate Edition series number 20 that is the next series that is set to come out featuring the Asuka figure, the Roman Reigns, and the Undertaker figure. It's a set that we've been really really excited about here on the channel at least for me. I've been over the moon about it. I, I cannot wait for this Ultimate Edition set. I would love to see it hit before the end of the year, but I don't think that's the, the case. I do believe it's going to hit in January, so that kind of stinks. But, you know, what? it's on the way. It's not too, too far away. So the set that we're talking about today is going to be the Ultimate Edition Series following Series 20, which would obviously make that Series number 21. And we already know about one of the figures in this set. We actually saw it not too long ago. It was a few weeks back. We did take a look at it in one of our news videos. So let's dive into it, man. WWE Ultimate Edition Series number 21. The first figure in this set is going to be Cody Rhodes. Now, we know about this Cody Rhodes figure. We've already seen it. It is from his WrestleMania 39 matchup with Roman Reigns, where we were all devastated. You couldn't even believe it. Solo Sokoa, spike in the neck, Brad. Killed him right there, and Roman Reigns gets the victory. That is what this figure is representing. It's a beautiful-looking figure. You know, it is going to be trying its hand. Mattel's going to be trying their hand at the molded jacket that we've seen from multiple Ultimate Editions. It's going to have interchangeable arms with his entrance jacket that looks sick as hell. It's the white version. It looks immaculate. Looking like George Washington out there. I can't wait for this figure, but this is the first figure in the set. It's going to pretty much be a repaint of his first Ultimate Edition, but instead of the cloth goods, they are going to be rolling with the sculpted or molded coat, and it might even feature new boots on this guy. We'll have to see about those things when it comes out, and I do believe it's also featuring the new weight belt, so a lot of great things about this Cody Rhodes, and I know a lot of people missed out on the first Ultimate Edition Cody Rhodes that still goes for over 100 bucks in the aftermarket. This is going to be a great figure that a lot of people are after. Now, when we first saw this figure, I can't remember if they told us that it was in Ultimate Edition Series 21, but nonetheless, we do now know that Ultimate Edition Series 21 featuring Cody Rhodes is going to be coming here. Now, you guys know that moving forward in each Ultimate Edition line, there are going to be more than two figures. There is now going to be featured three figures in the set. They did announce that, obviously, in Series 19. We got to see Bobby Lashley, Kurt Angle, and Bianca Belair in Series 20. We are seeing Asuka, Roman Reigns, and Undertaker. And now in Series 21, they are continuing the three superstar method. And the first one is Cody Rhodes here. But now we're going to get into the two figures that we did not know about. Now, all of this knowledge that we're talking about today is coming from Collector's Insider on Instagram. He has actually done a lot of stuff here on the channel. We've done multiple news videos, and this man hasn't missed yet. This man has been pretty much batting a 1,000. We always say nobody bats a 1,000 on the channel, but it seems to me that he is batting 1,000 right now. Man has been on a mission. Before Ringside Fest, he posted up a bunch of things that ended up being confirmed at Ringside Fest, and I believe this, man. There's no reason for me not to believe that this is true, so I would like to say that Series 21 is all but confirmed at this point. But the next figure in the set features featured in Ultimate Edition Series 21 is going to be Kevin Owens, man. Kevin Owens. Now, Kevin Owens is one of my favorite superstars in the world. If you follow the channel, you do know how big of a fan of Kevin Owens I am. And I don't know who all is going to be excited about this, but I am one that is going to be very excited about it. We've talked about it and Fantasy Book. Kevin Owens getting his own Ultimate Edition for years on the channel. We've talked about it for a long, long time. The question becomes to a lot of people, does he deserve an Ultimate Edition and all these things? But I guess if people like Doink the Clown and the Gobbledygooker for for God's sakes, can get an Ultimate Edition. I don't see why champions and heavily decorated superstars and just amazing talents like Kevin Owens could not. I mean, the guy is a fantastic wrestler. To me, I say it all the time, he's top five in the world, in my opinion, and I think in an Ultimate Edition, he would be great. Now, while we're fantasy booking this thing, there's multiple things that you have to look at, and we're going to dive into it right here, man. So, the first thing you think of when you think of Kevin Owens is it's going to have a brand new torso. It's going to have probably, I mean, his torsos on his elites have pretty much been an Ultimate Edition torso 
torso so anyway, except they have never had butterfly joints. So I'm guessing they're going to have the same elite torso that he's always had, except he will have the addition of butterfly joints. He's going to have his tattoos on there. And I would imagine, since Kevin Owens is really interesting, they're going to throw two or three shirts in here. I, If I had to fantasy book it like I'm talking about here, I would guess that they're probably going to go velcro list, like the Stone Cold Steve Austin shirt that we saw, like the Ultimate Edition Eddie Guerrero, like the Solo Sokoa shirt that we saw from Elite 104. I bet they go velcro list shirts, and they're going to give us two or three options for the Kevin Owens. I think that would just be genius. You could have him wearing a shirt in the packaging and then feature two more options there. It would allow people to buy it and then put that on other Kevin Owens elite figures if you wanted to just buy one. Or, you know, there's freaks out there like me that would buy multiples to put a guy, you know, put KO in each shirt. So I think they could do that. And then the question becomes, what shirts and what looks are they going to go with? Now, you know that he does change his shorts and stuff like that. So I don't know. They may just go with like some of his standard shorts or they just might roll with it and be like, yeah, you can put this shirt on other other Kevin Owens figures that you want to. So that'll be very interesting. Or maybe they just go with one shirt, which would really shock me. I'd be very shocked if they only went with one shirt. But I mean, is it his WrestleMania gear? Are they going to go with his WrestleMania gear from WrestleMania 39 where he teamed with Sami Zayn and they captured the tag titles? Maybe they're going to do a tag titles thing where they give him both versions of the tag titles. You get the Raw and SmackDown Tag Team Championships to go with your Kevin Owens figure. They put him in that WrestleZania shirt. I do believe him and Sami Zayn were both rocking PWG gear or inspired like they they paid tribute to pwg with their logo on their trunks or their shorts with the gold on it and it had fight on there it was a very cool gear i thought it was sick i think that could absolutely be the gear that they go with you guys know that we are getting that Sami Zayn gear in a basic in basic series 145 we are getting that Sami Zayn gear in basic form from that wrestlemania and he's wearing the shirt it says 2023 wrestlemania champions and it's like Sami Zayn and kevin owens and it celebrates their championship win could this be a basic that's going to match that Ultimate Edition Kevin Owens that we're getting in that wave? I don't know, but I am all for a Kevin Owens Ultimate Edition. I think that it's it's a fantastic idea. I'm all I'm all aboard that. I think that would be great. Now, when I get into the last figure in this Ultimate Edition set, people may be annoyed by it, but they also may be on board with it, and it actually is going to tie into the Kevin Owens figure because the third and final member of the Ultimate Edition Series 21 is going to be none other than Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn is in Ultimate Edition Series 21. Now, uh, one thing that's wild is that this is three current roster talents, which I feel like is going to upset some people. I know that there's a lot of people out there that don't collect any main roster or current roster talents. They don't collect any modern day figures or modern day talents. And a lot of people may skip completely over this wave. They may be able to, but they may be trying to dip into that, you know, that modern roster so that more people that collect the, the modern roster, they will pick up more ultimate editions. I don't know. I, you know, I'm, I'm not entirely sure about that. And, but you guys know also know that they are still keeping the Legends Target Ultimate Edition line going. I'm pretty sure we still have fan takeover figures still going on. There's going to be exclusives. We have Amazon exclusive two packs like the WrestleMania 10 one with Shawn Michaels and Razor Ramon. So there's lots of different ways to get Ultimate Editions out. But having Sami Zayn as that third member, that kind of goes into the fantasy booking here. You know, I got to put my fantasy booking hat on and I got to see what gear it could possibly be. We know that I just reviewed Elite Series 106 Sami Zayn here on the channel. It was the breakaway Sami Zayn, right? It was representing his era where he broke off from the Usos and the Bloodline. Remember, it was it has the shirt on that says Sammy Uso, but it has the, the Zane slapped over it. And we were all wondering to ourselves, okay, well, if they're doing that, then there's got to be, they, they skipped over the War Games. They skipped over his red gear, which our Elite 106 Usos represented, and our Elite 107 Solo Sokoa represents from that match. And they've got to make the full thing, and we already have a Roman Reigns that represents his look from that matchup in the last few top talents waves and things of that nature. Not to mention, we already have an updated Ultimate Edition Roman Reigns coming soon. So you would, it, all signs would kind of point to this Ultimate Edition Sami Zayn being the War Game Sami Zayn. They would make this Sami Zayn in the Bloodline gear to represent that era. So not only would we get a Sami Zayn in the Bloodline era, it would be like the Ultimate Bloodline era to match your Elite 106, to match your Solo Elite 107, to match your Roman Reigns. So I feel like that's probably where they're going. And also, if you put that together with the basic Sami Zayn from 145, which celebrates their WrestleMania win with Kevin Owens, it would probably make you think that they're going to release a basic Kevin Owens in, you know, basic series 146 or 147 or some other Kevin Owens basic down the line that is going to pair with that Sami Zayn to represent that instead of making it an Ultimate Edition. And I know I just said a lot of words there, but hopefully it all made sense. So this leads me all to say, okay, well, if they're making a War Games Sami Zayn, you would think, oh, they're going to make War Games Kevin Owens because Kevin Owens was out there, but he was wearing that Dusty Rhodes-inspired gear, right? Remember he had the elbow pad, he had the 
the Dusty Rhodes shirt on, but he came out there in pants. They're not gonna release an Ultimate Edition in pants, are they? Like, that would absolutely blow my mind. So, just a lot of different things going on here. Are they gonna, like, I just don't see them doing, I, I could see them doing an elite Kevin Owens of that because it would be a little bit different, you know, it would get some, uh, you know, it'd get a different look of Kevin Owens out there. He would be in that Dusty Rhodes shirt. It would be better for an elite. I don't see Kevin Owens in that Dusty Rhodes shirt, bionic elbow shirt with jeans or, you know, with the long pants on being an Ultimate Edition. I just don't see that happening. However, I could absolutely see it being an elite figure and, you know, kind of changing it up. Getting Kevin Owens out there, but it would be a little bit different look for him there. You could do, you know, one of his Ultimate Edition head sculpts. You'd throw that red elbow pad in there, white wrist tape, and kind of give him that different look there. So, I don't know, man. My, my head is all over the place with this. I mean, they could do the Ultimate Edition Kevin Owens with just his standard NXT shirt that's got the duct tape KO, because I do believe he wore that in the build-up to that WrestleMania. And then they could throw that Dusty Rhodes shirt in there, maybe. Or maybe they could throw in the, the WrestleZania shirt. So maybe he could do the taped KO and the WrestleZania shirt. Or, I, I don't know. There's lots of different fantasy bookings here, but the entire wave, I am I, I think it's awesome because we're getting new faces in the line. I, I definitely wanted that WrestleMania 39 Cody gear in Ultimate Edition form with the posable jacket. That's going to be one of the better Ultimate Editions of the year in 2024. And then you throw in a Sami Zayn and a Kevin Owens, which I think are two guys that are deserving of an Ultimate Edition. I know a lot of people want flashbacks and want other characters in the Ultimate Edition line, but at least it's not just a repaint of another character. We got one, I guess you could call it quote-unquote repaint of a guy, even though you get the molded jacket, which is new sculpt, and you get the new weight belt mold, which is new sculpt. So, I don't know. The, the Cody Rhodes has enough new about it. It's got repeat head sculpts, but I think that's fine. And then you have that Kevin Owens edition, which will probably feature multiple shirts, and then Sami Zayn, which will probably feature the honorary Oos red shirt, the honorary red joggers, and his, you know, his black white boots, you know, his iconic boots. Then he could have a screaming head sculpt, he could have a pissed off head sculpt, he could have a smiling big smile head sculpt. And then I think the same thing goes for Kevin Owens, because I think that they could give him a screaming head sculpt, they could give him a pissed off head sculpt, and they could give him a smirking head sculpt. So all is right in the world. Hopefully they'll all have new head sculpts. We'll get some new flow going on. And Ultimate Edition Series 21 will be will be sick. So hopefully that will be the case. But I gotta give another huge shout out to Collectors Insider on Instagram. Again, I don't know where he gets the info from, but he's been right on the money. And but that is pretty much going to wrap up our news for today, man. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on Ultimate Edition Series 21 featuring Cody Rhodes, Sami Zayn, and Kevin Owens down in the comment section below. But I'm getting the hell out of here, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Huge shout out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate those fellas for everything they do for me on a monthly basis. Always appreciate you guys. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. I will see you guys in the next one. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.